with. And all this is just running through my mind and I'm just a nervous wreck. What happened next? What happened next? About the fifth time he got in the bed. It's like at first he was just stroking me, but then it's like he just grabbed me like in between my legs, like he just grabbed it real hard. And so the whole time, every time he touched me, I'm just moving, and act like I was asleep. And this time I just and like it and I turned over real hard. And he just gave me this look. It was like a very fierce look. And then it just sent these chills up my spine. And so I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, he's he's finna hit me. I'm thinking he's finna hit me or do something like that. But then he rolls over and reaches, like he's reaching to the side of the bed or something. So I'm thinking, now he's not finna hit me. He's finna get a gun. And, and what did you do at that time? I just grabbed the gun and I shot him. Mr. Allen was asleep and facing away from you when you shot him. No, sir. All right, I, what I want you to do is to explain to the court how you have you have a gun in your purse on the night stand, correct? Right. You don't want to do this, you don't want to be here. So you felt like if you tried to leave, he would harm you. Walking towards Dory, Dory walking to her, and uh, Lindsay says, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And Dory says, I forgive you. Lindsay, I forgive you. I love you. And they hug. It was just precious. And Dory knew then her forgiveness was real. Her love was real. Of course, I got to say, Lindsay has brought me a lot of joy and how she's responded. I've never talked about this. I never have told anybody anything except right now. I did the most horrible thing we could do is take somebody's life. I was sentenced to 20 mandatory to life. I committed a murder.